Mazda has once again taken the automotive world by storm with the unveiling of its most recent rotary engine innovation. This breakthrough sets new benchmarks in automotive engineering, poised to shatter records with its unparalleled power and efficiency. Featuring a distinctive rotational system, this engine redefines our understanding of motor technology. But what exactly sets this engine apart? How does it function? Moreover, which Mazda model will be incorporating this technology? Join us as we delve into these queries in this video. Stay tuned till the end. Rotary Engine Revolution Over the past five decades, Mazda has outpaced all competitors by producing over 2 million Wankel rotary engines, more than twice the output of any rival. Despite industry claims of obsolescence, Mazda has not abandoned this technology. A decade after the Mazda RX-8 was hailed as one of the finest engines ever made, the Mazda MX-30 emerged. This vehicle is a compact electric SUV crossover. Unlike most hybrids, which use the engine to drive the wheels, the Mazda MX-30 REV employs its rotary engine as a generator. Although the era of the rotary engine as an independent internal combustion engine is drawing to a close, Mazda envisions a new and clear purpose for it, grounded not in nostalgia but in practical and technical reasons. The Mazda MX-30 HC was globally unveiled at the Brussels Automotive event in 2023. The simplicity of the rotary engine was a highlight. Its integration with batteries, generators, and fuel storage into a compact module is seamless. This engine is so compact it fits within the engine space of the MX-30 BEV, adhering to Mazda's Sky Active design philosophy. Mazda's automotive program director emphasized that the high-speed capability of the rotary engine is perfect for sports cars. Yet, its compact size also makes it ideal as a generator. This compactness was a key factor in optimizing the vehicle. Despite ceasing mass production of these engines in 2012 with the discontinuation of the RX-8, Mazda continued to evolve this technology, culminating in the MX-30HC. Engineers primarily tested the engine as a generator. However, adjustments were made to align with Mazda's stylish prototype. User feedback led to the tuning of engine speed, which varies to optimize acceleration. The engine speed can reach up to 4,500 revolutions per minute, with a minimum of 2,000 rotations. Compared to the noisier rotary engines of the past, this engine boasts a maximum power of 74 horsepower at 4,500 revolutions per minute. The oil-cooled engine is compact yet powerful, delivering 170 horsepower at 9,000 revolutions per minute. The rev's acceleration is enhanced by the additional power, offsetting the 58 kilograms heavier than the MX-30 electric, which has 145 horsepower. Silent Revolution The MX-30 REV transforms the electric vehicle driving experience, always operating on battery power, regardless of whether the rotary engine is running. This ensures consistent and powerful acceleration, along with nimble responses. The smoothness and lack of vibrations are notable, thanks to its rotary engine. Yoshiaki Naguchi of Mazda pointed out that the rotary engine needed to be lighter, more economical, and reliable. The previous model, the Renesis, featured two combustion chambers of 654 cubic centimeters each. In the new model, the ports have a 12 centimeter radius, and the rotor requires a 7.6 centimeter clearance. With lateral openings for air intake and exhaust, the MX-30H is lighter than the Renesis, thanks to the aluminum used in its lateral structure. Direct injection was key to enhancing performance. Naguchi sees the MX-30H as a significant advancement, being Mazda's first rotary engine with direct injection, a goal engineering had long aimed to achieve to increase efficiency. The implementation of direct injection in the Renesis was hindered by the need for a completely new design. Rotary engines present unique challenges due to constant temperature variations during combustion, making it difficult to achieve a homogeneous fuel mixture. Direct injection emerged as a solution, improving efficiency and reducing emissions by balancing the mixture in the primary combustion chamber. Optimization of injection and injector angles resulted in up to 25% greater efficiency. 
this was made possible through computational modeling, which aided in understanding the mixture flow in the chamber and ensuring complete fuel vaporization even at low temperatures, preventing over-injection and saving fuel. A system for recirculating exhaust gases was added to the engine, proving more efficient at low rotations and helping to reduce cooling losses. This is feasible due to the larger surface area of the rotary engine's combustion chambers, resulting in fuel savings. Recirculation also minimizes concerns about nitrous oxide emissions, as rotary engines naturally have advantages in this area due to lower combustion temperatures. However, Mazda's focus has been on reducing carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon emissions, the real environmental challenges. Engines and efficiency redefined. The eight-cylinder engine boasts a significantly higher compression ratio compared to the older rotary engines, achieving an impressive 11.91. This figure is considered high even by the standards of conventional engines. Typically, rotary engines have lower compression rates. The breakthrough in achieving such a feat was the enhancement of sealing, with improvements made to the seals at the top. Traditionally, increasing the pressure on the sidewall was the preferred method to enhance gas sealing. However, this approach led to quicker wear and tear. To address this issue, engineers increased the apex seals of each rotor from 2 mm to 2.5 mm, significantly enhancing durability. Modifications were also made to the coatings of the ducts, making them more resistant to wear and friction, contributing to both the engine's efficiency and reliability. For the side surfaces, aluminum was chosen as the material, while a metallization process provided a smoother surface, reducing wear and friction. The team behind the new NX30 engine is confident they will not encounter issues with excessive fuel consumption. The Mazda NX30 comes with an optimized battery boasting a capacity of 35.5 kg per hour. Conversely, the Mazda NX30 REV features a battery of 17.8 kg per hour, exactly half the size. The company argues that maximizing battery capacity is the most correct strategy. By having the battery capacity, they aim to balance the additional costs of the gasoline rotary engine, allowing for a fully electric range of 85 km, according to the WLTP standard. For a vehicle the size of the Mazda NX30, this range exceeds what many similar hybrids offer. Mazda promises over 640 km of range on a 50-liter tank, suggesting the use of electricity during the week and the rotary engine for longer trips. The cost of batteries was a crucial consideration in the vehicle's design. There was speculation about Mazda considering a rotary range extender for the MX-30, similar to the BMW i3 Rex. However, a plug-in hybrid was chosen, arguing that a range extender would require a larger battery and, consequently, increase the car's price. Plug-in vehicles have a cost similar to fully electric ones but benefit from smaller batteries, fuel tanks, and often, rotary engines. Mazda may still launch a range extender variant, depending on battery costs, but there is caution regarding the likelihood and timing of such a launch. Mazda Automotive Innovations the MX-30 will first arrive in Europe and Japan, with rumors of it reaching North America. Mazda has been dodging questions about a hydrogen model. Since 1991, with the HRX, its first rotary hydrogen vehicle, the company has been exploring this technology. In 2010, its advancements in hydrogen rotary engines were recognized with the William Grove Award. Mazda is ready to offer a carbon emission-free alternative as soon as the hydrogen infrastructure is in place. For now, the project is on hold. The lingering question is, will Mazda launch a new sports car with a rotary engine? The saga of this engine continues, facing challenges. Kuta Matsui, head of research and development in Europe, dreams of launching a sports car with such an engine. However, he says now is not the time for it. Yet, he does not rule out a surprise in the future. Thanks to advanced engineering, long-range urban SUVs are gaining prominence. Last year, 10,000 units of the Mazda MX-30 electric were sold in Europe. Martin Tang Green, CEO of Mazda Europe, believes the MX-30 REV will surpass the sales of the fully electric model. 
The electric version, with its limited range, has its place, but the convenience of the hybrid is expected to rapidly boost sales. So, what do you think about Mazda's new rotary engine? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to see what others are saying about it.